Hello, everybody. Okay, we're on live, guys. Sorry. It's our first time using the computer um, to record, so bear with us. It's not going to be perfect, but you say hi, Taylin. Hello. Okay, so tonight we're going to make chicken and dumplings, but we're going to use... Use. Yeah, we're gonna use them. Okay, we're gonna make them um, though um, using our leftovers. So we made chicken enchiladas the other week ago and we still had leftover um, chicken stuff that we already had in a bag and I just froze the rest of it. So in it, it's got like the chicken, chicken broth, which we're probably gonna have to add a little bit more of that. And then it's got corn beans and the tomatoes in it um but as you can see i froze it right now i don't know if you can really see it's in the pan it's cooking down um so that we can use it and then also we got the carrots and celery over here so after those are done cooking we're just going to cut those up and we're going to put them in the pan and then we're going to use um some biscuits and put it in there but i think why this is cooking down I'm going to add one more box of chicken stock. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this. This has got like a chicken. All the rest of this stuff Turn that down just a little bit. We're going to add another thing of chicken stock. We're going to let that finish cooking down. Then we're going to come over here. Yeah, I know. I already got three dishes in the sink. What are you going to do? Okay. We're going to do that. Take our vegetables. And we're going to drain them. So then, what we're going to do is we're going to cut them up. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut a fine little circle, just like that. So mind you, these are already cooked, so it makes it easier to cut up. But some people might just stick them in the pot and let them cook with everything else. But because we already had stuff pre-made, let's just make them cook easier so that we can just chop them up quickly and then stick them in the pan. Thank you. 
Okay, so that knocks us out. Then we're gonna take our carrots and celery. We're just gonna break it into the pot. Until all of our carrots and celery are cut up and cooked into the pot. Okay, now that all of our vegetables are cut up in the pan, we're gonna add some salt. A little bit of a handful. This is a big pot, so. Then we're gonna add some pepper. Mix that all together. I didn't make the biscuits, we just bought the biscuits from the store, but then once you open them, you're just going to take them and you're going to peel them apart, and then you're just going to roll them in your hand like this, and then drop them into the pot. I bought two um, things of biscuits, and they have eight biscuits in each, so I'm going to do 16 biscuits, and I'm just going to take and roll into little balls and dump in here. That's how you make the dumplings. Now, yes, you can make them well made. That would take longer, but tonight this is going to be a quick dinner because we're using leftovers and just adding some stuff to them to make it chicken and 